I'm just, I just use it as an example to say some verses are clear. But, my, no, my but now tell me the same person who received this verse and gave it to the Israelites, commanded the Israelites to go and kill. What verse? Thou shalt not kill. I just want to know what that's Moses. got to do with Jesus. What does that got to do with Jesus? You use that verse. No, I just gave you an example. You gave me an example of what? You no, said certain verses in the Bible no, are straightforward. No, I'm saying no, the Bible no, has no, to be no, interpreted. No, no, no. The, the Bible is a book you read about. What you don't the problem is, you don't understand. we're not going to agree, obviously. No, but tell me why Jesus we're not, is the Messiah. Give, I just you, told you, you, the, you give I've me the been here for the last 15 minutes. I told you, you why he's the, the Messiah. And tell me, this is why I believe it's Jesus. Okay. That's what I want to Psalm 91, know. I gave you one prophecy about Jesus Christ. That, How is it about Jesus, though? You just okay. read the Psalms. What we do know, historically, his life was threatened. No doubt. Jesus' so life... Many people's lives were threatened. Can, so can I finish? Can I finish? Yeah. Do you want can to listen I, to can, the whole argument? Yeah, or... You, I've been there for yeah. Can you answer Are the you, question? Yeah. Can, you, can you answer the question? But, but I think you he's doing a good job. Can you answer it? Am well, I talking if, to if you? He, if he doesn't, then we'll come if in. If he was doing a good job, I would not be here for 20 minutes. It's a simple question. Why is Jesus the Messiah? You're can not you listening. You're not even listening to my answer. He You're not listening. Smart. He seems to be smart. He wants to talk. I'm, I'm talk. pretty sure everyone here is smart. I, I, I didn't, I didn't answer the question it. then. I didn't claim it. But answer the question then. But thank you for that. <laughs> answer the question then. I didn't claim to be if smart. If you don't know the answer. answer okay. Now, can, we get can, you back to speak, topic? can you let me speak to him? All right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Unless you can answer the if, you, if you let me finish my answer, right, ahead, you'll probably ahead, understand ahead, why we believe that prophecy applies to Jesus show Christ. Show me in the book. Prove it through the book, though. Don't Which you, book? What you think. Which book? However you're proving it's about is Jesus is the Messiah. However you're proving it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's about Kedar, yes. That's, that's a different prophet. Yeah. It's not very difficult. Kedar is in Arabia, yes. Sela is a mountain in Medina. In the city of the Prophet, yeah, Prophet the Muhammad. Of sing for joy. Yes, yes, hundred percent. That cannot be anyone else. So, so the point is. That's all I'm asking. It's just about Jesus. You okay, know, Psalm sure 91. Psalm. So, okay, true. let's. You you believe Psalm 91 to be from it's God? Not, it's not about what I believe. You're trying to show me why Jesus is the Messiah. How do I talk to you? I'm listening. Psalm 91. Do you believe it is from it's God? About belief. You have to show me it's about Jesus. If if. Where? From where? I don't know. You, you, I'm listening to you. You tell. How do you? How do I show you a concept about Jesus when you, you don't describe it to me? Do you believe in the scripture? Of course. So I that do. you do. So you do believe the scripture is from God. Yes, I do. Psalm 91 includes that. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Psalm 91 talks about a man being rescued against. This looks exactly like my phone. <laughs> it's not. I'll prove that to you. <laughs> My God, it's exactly the same. Look, even the cover. It's spooky, isn't it? Yeah, I know. This is like. <laughs> okay. I thought, how did my phone? That's a miracle. Okay. Okay. Now, Psalm 91, very quickly, is talking about a person whose life will be threatened, and he will call upon God, and God will save him. And angels will lift him on their wings. And now clearly you believe in that. He says it. Yeah. He says it. Yeah. Well, let's read it. Do you want? Do you want me to read it? Yeah, but what? what if you say the with Jesus, though, that's why. Well, that? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. First, let's establish what's in the scripture. Okay. The scripture okay. you believe in, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Here it says, "Surely, he will save you." from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague. Okay, continue, right? If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near you, near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me, say the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him 
for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will save him or satisfy him and show him my salvation. Him, him, him. He, he, he. So what do we learn in this particular Psalm? There will, there will be a him who will call upon God. God will rescue him. He will be lifted up by the angels on the wings. His enemies will not succeed against him. He will have a long life and God will fulfill his promise made towards him. Now, it is clear that in this Psalm, there is a prophecy that these things will happen in the future. Someone will call upon God and he will be rescued. Now, who was that? Yeah, yeah, Jesus. Quran, 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 Quran. Same thing in the Quran, chapter 4. So, Chapter 4, verse 157. So that Pull this about, up. That was about Jesus. Wait, let me read you the Quran now. How the Quran? You, how does the Quran? Get it? I, yeah. I'm going to ask a Christian. Okay, here. Yeah. Look, look, look what the Quran says. Yeah. The Quran says, "As for their saying, the Jewish people, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Messenger of Allah." And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But it was made to it was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except uh, the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. The next verse. The next verse is the point. Angels will lift him on their wings. Remember that Psalm 91 Rather Allah raised him to himself and ever is Allah exalted in might and wise That means God specifically raised him up just like Psalm 91 says that angels will lift him They will lift him on their wings, right? Okay, and there will be no one left from the people of the book and there is none from the people of the scripture but that he will surely believe in Jesus before his death in other words Jesus has not died he was rescued he was lifted up he was raised and he was kept alive and on the day of resurrection he will be against them a witness the Quran correlates directly with the prophecy in Psalm 91 right so here unless you are willing to tell us who that was the the prophecy is referring to who is the prophecy referring to if it's not Jesus if you say it's about Jesus okay I'll take your word for it but okay now that you take is, my word for it I'll take, if you say it's about Jesus I'll so, take your word for it but my point is yeah what has Jesus got to do with any of those things in the book that's what I don't understand I okay don't, I know you guys are obsessed about this Jesus guy and if you say he's a good guy I'll give it to you I don't care he, he was a great oh, guy the, okay if he's a great okay. guy I'll give it yeah to he you. was but a great guy is, we love him very much for the reasons listen, because listen, God minute, talked give me, about give him give me one minute my point is what has it got to do with Jesus that's my point what the prophecies in the book I just gave you a prophecy and I showed you why no, it is Jesus. No, 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 I'm talking about the Messiah. That's okay. going to come. Psalm 91 is a messianic, is a messianic psalm. I'm claiming that. It's a messianic it? psalm. Okay. Okay. If you say it is, but yes, to what I'm and if it is a messianic psalm, does that that means it is Jesus listen. and if that if it is Jesus listen. then Islam is true. Listen. 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 I think he's asking what his what's his purpose going to be. No, 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 no. What I'm asking is what has it got to do with Jesus? Jesus is not the Jesus did not fulfill any of those prophecies that talked about hang on hang on that talked about the messiah coming at the end of days he's going to bring peace to the world he's going to build a third day listen no listen no listen listen that listen that listen listen There's have no, have we reached the end of days can i can i can i speak yes you're making my point yes the messiah in that book is coming at the end of days he's going to build a third temple there's going to be peace in the world. Okay. Listen, Can I respond to that? Before you the respond, Quran responded oh, to that. Listen, let me talk. Come on. Yeah. That is the point. My point is, I'm not saying that Jesus is not a nice guy. If you say I'm not saying he's nice. But my point is, what has that prophecy has got to do with Jesus? Okay. I'm going to explain. I'm going to respond to you. Why do you think the, the Quran. Well, yeah, that's what Psalm, I'm saying. Okay. I'm, 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 it's not even about Psalm 91. Yeah, the problem is, you're not listening. You're, maybe there is a block. You need to lift the block. 
Okay. You're not listening to what my question is. I listen to your question very carefully. I have repeatedly answered your question. You're not listening to my answers. Okay. You're reading 91. Can, I, can you let me speak to the guy? Unless you can answer the question. What has the Messiah that's going to come at the end of days talked about in the Tanakh? What has that got to do with Jesus? Good. That's can I respond? Question. Can yes. I respond? The Messiah. If you can answer it, then answer it. Don't keep jumping in. If you can answer it, answer it. He's struggling. I can understand your frustration, but I think he has answered your question. He's you not just don't want to understand it. No, my question is. I understand the frustration. What has it got to do He's with answering Jesus? it. I can understand what the has frustration. It got to do with Jesus? Calm down. He's answering it. I'm going to give you a, a final. Okay, no, I'm going to give you a final Listen, sentence. Listen, all I want to know is. I'm about to give you an answer, okay, but you don't want to hear. Please, can these guys just shut up? What? What do these prophecies yes. have to do with Jesus Christ? With Jesus Christ. About That's the Messiah right. coming near the end of times. Yes. We believe yes. all of these prophecies put together in the Quran as well as the Bible, they make sense. No, okay, no, can, no, can, no, you, can, you, can you be silent yeah. for Go another ahead. few not seconds? And, and, and listen, can you lift on, the block on, from on, your ears on, and saying. listen to me? Thank you. Right. Like I'm listening to you. Okay. Yeah. This Messiah who's foretold in the scripture. Mm -hmm. That he will come the near, near the end of time. He will come near end the end of, of times, end of and he will establish justice. Yes. Okay. I'm we right believe, yes. based upon the prophecies already given to you, that it is Jesus. Why? Let me explain why. Why? Why? Wait. Wait. You're obviously not listening to me. He just said Jesus was killed. I give you a prophecy from the Old Testament, Psalm 91, which clearly tells you he will not be killed. He will be protected. The Quran says the same thing. He will not be killed and he will return near the end of times. Jesus. And this is where we end. I don't think I have any more brain cells to waste here. Sorry, sorry. I have to go. I don't care about Jesus. I don't care what this is about I have to escape. Can you say? Save me, please. Save me. I'm talking about the Messiah. You're telling me about Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus is the Messiah. Are you not listening for the last 20 How minutes? Oh my Listen. God. How can he be the Messiah? The, for the when, reasons hang on, I gave hang on, you. Hang on. How can he be the Messiah when the prophecies in the Tanakh says that person is going to come at the end of days, he's going to build. Can I finish? Can I, he's he's going to build wait, the wait, temple. Wait, wait. Can so I get, <laughs> Listen, can I speak? Yeah, yeah. You're, You're going to tell me that Jesus has done these things. He's going to build a third temple. It's going to gather all the children of Israel back to Israel. There's going to be no more wars. The cows and the bears and the rats, everything is going to be friends. He's going to be scared. He's going yes, to, he's a man we believe that's Jesus. But Jesus is dead. Well, that's, wait, wait, wait. Let him finish. Whoever, Let him finish. Are you not listening to me? Hang on. Whoever you are not listening to me. You have a hearing issue. You, are, you have a hearing issue. Okay, I, no third temple. How can it for be the last 20 minutes, I've been telling you Jesus did not die. I don't care. According to Psalm 91, he did not die. He cannot die. And you're not listening. So that's why I have to escape. You can't answer the question. Of course, I can't. I dare you. If you're a man or a woman to do what I'm about to suggest. Islamnet is a Muslim organization establishing a masjid in the capital of Norway. The property, alhamdulillah, has now been purchased. And now we need to reconstruct it into a fully functioning masjid and community center. To be part of building a masjid is one of the best deeds a Muslim can do. The Prophet Sallallahu stated, whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala told us in the Quran, believe in Allah and his messenger and donate from what he has entrusted you with. So those who have believed and donate will have a mighty reward. But what is this mighty reward that your donation inshallah will bring you? Well, much more than you initially gave. Your good deed will be multiplied by 700, up to 700 times when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who will forgive your sins inshaAllah. And all the ajr that is happening in the masjid, all the prayers that are happening, the ruku'ah and the sujood and the dua and the charity and the ta'aleem and the learning, all of those things, you inshaAllah will get, you get a copy of those good deeds inshaAllah ta'ala and the pleasure of your Lord and an eternal home in Jannah, Allahu Akbar. And that is indeed a mighty reward. Don't miss out on this rare opportunity. Click the link and donate and earn the rewards promised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And don't forget to share the video. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.